Welcome to day 25 of Vlogmas. Holy cow, how did we get here? What a month. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve and I'm about to go do some Christmas elf duties, including, but not limited to, Starbucks, <laughs> holiday drinks for the fam, wrapping presents, and then later, this I guess isn't, isn't really an elf duty, but I'm going to get a blowout with my guy Michael. He is so good and I can't wait to see him and this blowout is definitely on its way out, so we love some good new Christmas hair. Angels, we have heard <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. That is the nicest Christmas hug. Dude, can you see the world from a new dimension all the way up here? <laughs> wow. My dad is coming with me for my Christmas elf expedition to get holiday drinks for the family. Aren't you, Dad? Hey guys, it's Santa's workshop time. <laughs> I keep making references to elves in the workshop. I am wrapping presents for my family. I am hiding at my dad's office because I think my brother's wrapping presents in the dining room. So we're all kind of hiding out. I had gotten this from Anthropology. Probably, I think I got it on Black Friday, but it's got the cutest little pom pom. So I'm gonna have some fun wrapping these and I'll also show you some of the stuff I got for my family. I was really proud of the gifts I came up with this year. I'm also like trying to remember. <laughs> Some of the stuff that I got. If you ever do that? You're like, wait, what did I get? I'm just like a for each person. I was just trying to cut this open and it's a running bandana for my dad. And I just cut the running bandana. Oh my gosh. This is like deeply embarrassing. Maybe he won't notice. I ruined the gift. Oh no. It'll be fine. It's only a little bit. It's only a little bit. We're just gonna, maybe he'll think it's <laughs> okay. Going well so far. <laughs> okay, look how freaking cute this is. It's for Ollie and it's Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio since he's a dog obviously um, But the cool thing about this is that I worked for Santa Margarita for a summer and so whenever I like see the bottle Somewhere I'm like, oh, we have to get it. And so when I saw that they have like a dog toy version I mean, are you kidding me? It's a squeaker though. I don't know if they're gonna like that <laughs> Okay, I just changed around my camera setup because overhead lighting is not it. My face is so swollen. I don't know if I accidentally ate gluten. It's really hard when you're living with people who aren't gluten-free and then you're like, did something touch the gluten? <laughs> this is my what I was telling you guys though when I was telling you about my health stuff and how this is what happens. I'm honestly just in the stage of wrapping where I'm trying to figure out what is what in all of these boxes because I had to ship everything here. So my dad is a writer, but he doesn't write as much as he wants to. And you know, I'm a writer too. I really got that from him. So I got him this writer's toolbox. I'm like whispering because I don't, I think he left for a run, but I'm just scared someone is going to hear me. But it's all these creative games and exercises to get him like writing and to get the creative flow going again. So I was really proud of that. And then I got this book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. I always talk about it. It's my favorite book. For my brother. I hope he likes it. Behind me, I got my dad that turntable for his birthday, which was in September. So I keep, I'm like, well, to play off of that, I should just get him records. I get him the Pink Floyd because he loves this album. Yesterday at Target, I just got my dad some, <laughs> so basic, oh my gosh, some like whole bean Christmas coffee. I don't know, I might try to put it in a stocking for in the morning. When I was actually at Boscov's and I did that partnership in Providence, I got my mom this bracelet, like yellowish, having a little extra glam can be fun. And then my dad's a runner, so I got him this shirt, Coffee Run, because he loves coffee and it's so soft. So this is what I got yesterday at the running store. My dad's a guitarist, as you can tell with the guitars behind me, so I got him guitar strings. With my mom, it's more stuff that like we had talked about. Oh, it just started raining. I was like, what is happening outside? I hope it starts to snow for Christmas Eve. Doing things that like play off of everybody's, like the things that they had talked about, I really was like thinking about gifts ahead of time months in advance or things that are related to things they love, which obviously I feel like that's gift giving 101. So that's definitely not anything groundbreaking, but I just felt like this year I really stepped into that fully. I'm really proud of this gift. 
I got my mom a Dyson hair dryer. I really planted the seeds for this. I'm completely whispering. I hope you can hear me. I planted the seeds for this the other day because she was like, oh, like, will you help me with my hair? And I was like, you know, you really need like a really nice hair dryer, like a Dyson hair dryer. Like this is mine. Try it out. You should really consider getting one. And she did not pick up what I was putting down, but she was like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> It's not the air wrap like what I have because she doesn't curl her hair like I do. It comes with the dryer, a smoothie nozzle, just like all the stuff in it. So this is going to be a special gift. I can't wait for her reaction. Then I got my brother this sky thing that everyone's been talking about, the projector. I feel like it would just be cool because he's in college for like his apartment. I personally want it. So if he doesn't like it, I'm going to take it. And then I got my dad some running shoes that he asked for. That's nice. Go me. He asked for this exact pair so it's not like I picked out anything special bandanas that I did not <laughs> just cut into hair stuff and more hair stuff for my mom it was clearly like a hair day for my mom it's like she really likes a smooth infusion stuff I'm gonna wear the Santa hat until I get my blowout. <laughs> it just started raining outside, so it's the coziest little Christmas Eve. On top of the Christmas music and the calm vibes and the beautiful Christmas tree with all the presents. What a gorgeous day. I feel like I just wanna make some warm cider and snuggle up. <laughs> Okay, I just got to the salon and it is pouring rain outside. Not optimal blowout weather, but I have my hood, I have an umbrella, and fun story, I don't even know how to work this car anymore, but this was my first car when I turned 16. It's this 4Runner. So it was like old times to get to drive it again. <laughs> I just got the blowout. It was so much fun to get to see Michael. He's totally like, we are so aligned on spiritual beliefs and so we just had a really good chat. And then I ran into this cute little market right here and grabbed some meats and cheeses so I can make a charcuterie board. And I also got, since I think I'm having like a gluten hangover from the gluten I didn't know I had, a little juice shot. This is a turmeric shot, really good for anti-inflammatory. Might as well just take it right now and then it's still pouring rain. Gonna drive home and listen to some of my favorite Christmas songs. Time to get into the spirit, baby. <laughs> finished filming some TikToks. I filmed so many, you guys. I filmed six and I just posted five of them. I'm on X Games mode when it comes to TikTok. <laughs> and I'm about to make a little cheese board for the family. I got all that stuff from that market um, that I showed you. It's honestly the best cheeses and meats. If you're looking for recommendations, just like rewatch that part. <laughs> I also just wanted to say like as a note about me making so many TikToks, I've really realized this year that the key to success for anybody is consistency, which sounds really obvious. And yet we usually don't do it for some reason. Like we think, well, I'll just have like one piece of content pop off and do really well, or I'll get like my lucky break. But you can make your own luck. And I think showing up consistently, even on the days that you don't really feel like it, um, within moderation, of course, because self-care, self-love, but showing up for yourself and your dream, even when you're like, man, I don't really don't even want to put on makeup today or get in front of the camera, or I feel like I did a lot yesterday. Like really it's when you go paddle to the metal consistently, which means taking care of yourself, doing what you need to do to be in alignment. Like that's when the real magic starts. And when I look back over this year and everything that's happened like my tiktok year in the life year in the life i don't know if that's what it's called like year of you said i made 561 videos and i started on tiktok in may so that's like 561 videos in essentially seven months which is a lot <laughs> but i loved every second of it right so it's about finding what you love doing it consistently and putting it out there even if nobody is clapping yet i'm telling you big 
big key, <laughs> major key, like DJ Khaled used to say. <laughs> you got it, Dad. We've got a crisis on the Prosecco front. We got a knife involved. Hiding out over here. And a one, and a two. <laughs> <laughs> so anticlimactic. What is that? Oh! Wow. Did that dent the ceiling? <laughs> Good job, Dad. So I'm about to call filming a day and spend some time with my family. My camera is dying and just want to be present and with them tonight. I hope you all are having the most incredible holiday season. Thank you so much for being here. It has been such a joy to do Vlogmas and more vlogs coming. As you know, I will not stop at least weekly. Big hugs to you all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.